Hi, I'm Dave at the Titan Missile Museum down here in Sarita. I'm uh, one of the tour guides. I, I was also uh, stationed down here back in the 70s in the height of the Cold War as a ballistic missile analyst technician in a Titan missile silo just like this on the other side of Tucson. Today I'd like to take you through the launch sequence. Uh, if you come down here and visit the museum, we reenact this every day, seven times a day. Uh, so this is the commander's console. Now it takes two people to launch this. We're going to get a message. An emergency action message comes through. Now the commander and the deputy commander are going to get out their emergency action message books and they're going to copy down a 41 character message. Then they're going to exchange their books. Uh, they repeat the message. They copy it down again. Then they put the books together. Make sure they both have the exact same things on them. It takes two people when it comes to nuclear weapons to, to launch a missile. Uh, not even the President of the United States can make a decision on their own. Somebody has to agree with them. Now, if the two crew members agree that they wrote down the same thing, we're going to decode it and see what they're talking about. Well, unfortunately for us today, this is the real deal. We've been ordered to launch this thing. There's one more step, however. We have to make sure it came from the President of the United States. He's the only person that can authorize a nuclear war. This allows us to go into that red safe there. That's our emergency war order safe. One of the most top secret documents in America was kept in that safe. That is our PSYOPs or our nuclear battle plans. The battle plans for every nuclear bomb America owned and what to do with it was kept in that safe. That thing is incredibly top secret. We guarded that with our lives. We're going to take that book out. The message itself is going to tell us what battle we're fighting. We have to, there's all different scenarios based on what the Soviet Union has launched at us. We're going to go to that page in the book. The message is also going to tell us what time to launch. The deputy takes his grease pencil and writes the time on the face of the launch clock. Uh, that's why that has to be so accurate. This thing is synchronized down to the second. Uh, there's 54 Titan IIs going to fly over the North Pole. There were 1,000 Minutemen missiles going over the North Pole. All our nuclear submarines hide under the ice at the North Pole. They're breaking through the ice. They're going to be firing over the North Pole. And all our bombers are airborne now. This thing has to go exactly when it has to go. That's why that clock has to be so accurate. All right, so we've been given the orders. It's time to launch. The deputy has a key over there, and the commander has a key here. The keys are angled. They're seven and a half feet apart, so one person can't reach both. And they're spring-loaded to the off position, like the ignition in your car. So you can't turn one and go turn the other. They have to be turned at the same time. So if you're ready, the commander's going to give the deputy a countdown. Three, two, one, launch. Turn the keys clockwise. Hold them for five seconds. All right. Now this is the launch sequence. The first light is launch enabled. That means everything's been checked. Everything's a go. Now at this point, if the president calls and says, hey, we made a big mistake, stop the launch. You can't. There's no oops button. There's no self-destruct. There's no stopping it. This is going to go. We have just joined World War III. The next light, batteries activated. There's two batteries on that missile being force-fed electrolyte for the first time. It takes 28 seconds to fill them up. Once they're full, we're going to get this light, ABS power, means it's making its own electricity. It doesn't need help from the control center anymore. Silo soft. That means the door is lifted up. It slid open. The silo is wide open at this point. Uh, the next light is guidance go. Guidance computer is talking to the interface over there for the last time to make sure it knows where it's going, how does it get there, what does it do once it gets to that point. Fire engines, the butterfly valves are open, the two fuels are mixed, that thing is lit up out there. All our fire alarms are going off at this point. The missile is taking off, and then two seconds later, lift off. The missile is left. It is lumbered out of that silo, and it's on its way.
All right, thanks for watching the video today. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos on the way soon.